finally got the perfect time uh, to use this spreader. So I actually used it a couple times already. I spread some weed and feed once already, and uh, I also seeded, grass seeded a uh, one of my buddies' lawns. Um, but you're supposed to put this Scott's weed and feed down when the grass is wet. I didn't do that, um, so I don't think it was super effective. So it had just recently rained, um, so I'm gonna put the weed and feed down again. You can see in the background over here, maybe, it's probably kind of blurry because everything's focused up here, but uh, you can see that there's a ton of dandelion in the yard, which I hate. It's driving me absolutely, cra absolutely crazy. So I want this stuff to work. Uh, a couple things I want to point out though, before I get to it, um, I already seeded another part of the yard as I was waiting for my phone to reset after an update. Um, but now we're back to it. So I'm gonna take these weights off. Now this weight bracket, as I said in the overview of this, uh, is rated to 75 pounds. I have 80 on it. Um, that's not much more, so I don't think it's a problem. But one thing I did have to do, I don't know how well you can see it, but did a little bit of an upgrade here. This is basically to help hold this weight tray on. The first time I used this, the weight tray fell off with the weights. And the front of the tray fell down inside and scratched up the inside of the hopper. That is because for whatever reason, it only comes with a stud here on the back to hold the back of the tray on, but nothing up front. So I basically took a bolt, a T-nut, and then just a plastic screw-on cap and uh, put that on there. I had to drill a little hole and then there was already a hole in the hopper. So it fits through, it fits on there good. I can put this on it, it'll stay on there. It's not going anywhere no matter how much weight I put on it now. So a uh, good little upgrade, something you might wanna think about if you have one of these. Another thing you just gotta look out for down here, not sure how well you can see, but uh, for the feed adjustment lock screw, whatever you wanna call it, lock bolt, um, depending on how much this wing nut is spun around, you may or may not be able to rest the uh, lever against the washers down there. So you might have to add a washer or subtract one, whatever, in order to get that to where it turns enough that it can rest against that setting. Um, nothing crazy, just something I thought I'd point out. So I'm gonna fill it up. I already have some in here. I'm gonna put a little bit more though. As I said, I already did part of the yard. I ended up not using as much as I thought I was gonna the last time, the first application. Um, so I had a lot left over and I just filled it back up in uh, five gallon buckets rather than put it back, uh, you know, back in the bag or anything because you can't seal it. Um, probably shouldn't have touched this stuff with a bare hand, but I'll be all right. Put our tray back on. Spin that on. If you saw my other video about the feed adjustment, um, I basically used that, determined that I need about a five to five and a half. Last time when I did, five and a half, divide it by two so I could go crisscross. I ended up not really getting a whole lot down. I think that was part of the problem. I didn't use as much. So rather than two and a half where I had it last time, I have it set now at three and a half. And I think that'll be about where I want it. Seeing it earlier, it was dropping plenty. Um, so I think I'm gonna be a little bit happier with that. So let's get to it.
So you got to see how this thing works a little bit. Uh, I find it pretty good. Um, I ended up running out of the Scott's weed and feed that I was originally using. So I had some Arctic Grow weed and feed, which is quite a bit coarser. Um, I don't know that I quite had my setting where I wanted it. Uh, I didn't remember if this was more of a medium or coarse fertilizer. It is definitely coarse, so I probably should have had it at a higher value. But uh, I only had one bag to work with, um, so I kind of had to use it sparingly. But uh, being that I already had one cross coat on the yard already um, where I ran out, uh, I think I got enough down to kind of even it out. Uh, worst case, you know, I can always adjust it later on, and I'll be putting, like, full fertilizer uh, on it later on it won't be you know just weed and feed all the time so hopefully i won't notice too much a difference the grass still does have a little bit of coming back to do um, a little bit of growing to do it hasn't been super rainy really yet so the grass hasn't grown a whole heck of a lot it's just weeds everywhere so uh, all in all really good though um, it's nice being able to just line up the wheels and go you don't got to worry about crazy overlap um, the 580 uh, the wheel width on it is pretty nice because it's actually about the same width as the hopper so basically uh, if you line your wheels up um, on the tractor uh, there's actually a line that's created between the rear tire of the tractor and the tire of the planter and if you line your wheel right up on the high spot where it is between them where it doesn't get pushed down it's like the perfect width that these will line up at that same increment as far as where the tines dig in. So you get like no overlap. It almost lines up perfect. So uh, pretty cool there. It uh, sure beats the heck out of one of these. So with that, thanks for watching. Have a good one.